job, Warden. You've earned a portion of the receipts. Let me know if you want to go again. It's not a part of a quest or anything. And the money is not that great, so I guess that's that for now then. Sure. But now for the actual battle, I don't want injuries going into this. This sucks. Ah. Uh, everyone has an injury. Fatigue. I don't want to use my kits here. That's so lame. Everyone has fatigue. Except Liliana. Ah, oh, what do I do? Just go in? Uh, we can always take an injury kit in the middle of things anyway. Should probably have some stuff on though. I think pulverizing blows. Let's try this one out, but as soon as Shale takes charge, like the AI takes charge, it's gonna switch it back to Stone Heart. So maybe I'll just... Oh no, no, can I just disable it for Shale for now because I want to try out some other stuff? Ah, uh, the thing is though, his skills depend so much on the mode that's activated. So we have to have like a different mode. Yeah, like this one. Okay, let's try Scrapper then. Since you like going up to people so much anyway. And I have not been using Morgan as a healer. Like in my mind, it just doesn't work out. <laughs> I'll have to be a little bit more mindful of that. That's fine. I'm gonna try that out. Aha, you're back! Did you wish to fight in the Proving today? I'd like to hear more about who's fighting. Well, with politics what they are, many combatants are dedicating their fights to either Prince Balin or Lord Harrowmont. Mostly Balin. It's a regular parade of Mostly past out there. Piotr Naidukin always needs a battle unit. He's the prince's cousin. Miyaja and Luke John are twins from the warrior cast. They fight together, put on a good show. They'll all be in their chambers if you want to talk. They don't want to talk. <laughs> Mostly Balin because he's been threatening the other people to um, withdraw. I'd like to fight as Lord Harrowmont's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? Don't worry, I don't actually care about your king. I just need you guys to have a king. Mm, call me whatever you like. We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real <laughs> bird to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? All three of those options probably led to that voice line. <laughs> Who will I be fighting? Looks like Suwern's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? What are the rules of the proving? Fight start at the gong and go to first blood. No eye gouging, no groin pulls. The rules of each bout will be announced when it starts. You should be comfortable with normal weapons and lyrium enhanced weapons in single combat, pairs, or battle units. Are you ready to start? It's not even guaranteed that I'll fight with my team. Ready and eager. That's what I like to hear. I will warn you though, this is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestor's disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? The fighter's quarters are behind the ring. I don't think anybody wanted to talk to me though. They were all like, oh, this is people prepping. Get out of here. Come back soon. You'll be fighting the bout as soon as both fighters are ready. Okay, let me let me ask. Wait, who is the guy I'm fighting again? In? His name with a... Oh, it was that guy that was here. Let's go fraternize with the enemy. You must be the Grey Warden. Luke John said one of you signed up. Oh. They said the Warden's here to fight for Haramut. I guess we'll have to show what kind of tricks we learn in Orzammar. You two fight together? We were born together. We fight together. We'll die together. The Ancestors gave us one soul, but two bodies. Everything we do, we do together. Twins. Everything? You mean even... 
That's a little personal, don't you think? <laughs> Unless you want to find out. Mm, maybe later. Do you know anything about the other fighters? We know plenty. But we don't like to share. Watch out for Darvionic, though. They say he killed his brother. But the ancestors favored him in the ring, so he never saw punishment. Hmm. We're not giving anything more away. So don't even try. They finish each other's lines. You two fight together? We were born. Yeah, 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 yeah. The ancestors gave us one soul, but two bodies. Everything we do, we do together. <laughs> Great, you two keep complimenting each other. I'm leaving. I think the Grey Warden's worried. Don't worry. When we beat you, at least we won't taint you. Mm, don't taint me, please. Don't don't touch me. I don't I don't do whatever you do here. <laughs> Didn't I say I need to concentrate? There's plenty of time to congratulate me after the fight. Alright, Shorty, look at you. You're surrounded by my entire party. You really think you're the one talking here? <laughs> oh, amazing great lord. Tell me more about your career. Everyone knows about my great triumph. Youngest champion ever! No, the Proving Master announces it every time. If we're fighting him, does that mean that it might be a solo battle then? He doesn't have any lackeys here. Do you know much about the other fighters? I fought most of them before, of course. Miyaja and Luke John are tricky. I learned the hard way. Luke John is the one you have to watch out for. When Miyaja gets all flashy with that hammer, you never see Luke John stab you in the back. And Piotin's the best. I mean, he's an Iduken. I've never qualified to fight anyone of his rank before. I'm told I'll be fighting you in round one. So you're the Grey Warden? It's an honor, really a privilege. You oh. know so much about the Wardens. They say on the surface, they're the only ones who fight Darkspawn, and everyone hails them as heroes, and... Uh, are you taking recruits? He changed tune fast. <laughs> Actually, I'm building an army to fight the next Blight. A Blight? Then that must mean you want recruits. I bet you're here to pick the best fighters. Am I right? Oh, I wish. I can't make you a warden, but you could join our travels. Really? That would... that would be great. I always wanted to travel with the Wardens, see the world, oh, and uh, best of luck in the ring. Wait, really? Are you joining us? I'd like to talk, but I really can't be distracted right now. Must think about the fight. Did we never close this room door? We should do that. Are you really joining us? You're welcome to. So you're the Grey Warden Lord Harriman brought in to replace his missing fighters. He doesn't have any missing fighters. <laughs> Let's save the insults for somebody else. <sighs> save it for the ring. Oh, believe me, I will. You will learn nothing more here to bring to your master. I don't feel comfortable enough with helping Haramont that I would go to bat for him if somebody insulted him. So I don't want to be like, oh, he's the rightful king. Because <laughs> I'm an outsider, I'm not. Why are you depending on me to solve your problems anyway? Do you really want some random human, some random surface human to have a say in this? So, you decide to watch the fights then? Actually, I've entered. A surfacer ought to liven things up. Well, it won't matter much given the caliber of folks you're up against. Everyone wants to show King Endrin one last respect. Do you know anything about the fighters? <laughs> Do I know anything? Let me tell you, Selraka. If Varric doesn't know it, it didn't happen in this ring. You want anyone in particular? Tell me about... Sarorin. That halfwit? Picked up a sword at twelve and beat his own moron of a father. Since then, every woman in the warrior cast swoons for him. Mm. I was wondering about Miyaja and Lukjan. They have a nice act going. Miyaja runs up front with that big hammer, and everyone's heard it's got lyrium vein through it. Then Lukjan goes all quiet-like and dirks you in the back. A rogue? What do you know about the Silent Sisters? They always get a good response from the crowd. People love the whole martyr cut out your own tongue to please the ancient paragon thing. 
And they can back it up. Mean fighters, the lot of them. No difference one to the next, though. They dress alike, look alike. Gets a little dull eventually. I was hoping you've seen Wojak Ivo in action. Now there's a showman. Never does the same thing twice. They say he commissions a new weapon after every proving. I've seen him take out staves with daggers, axes with shields, and mace shield plate combos with double axes. People bet on how he wins, not if. Wow, do we have to fight all those people? Probably not, right? It's like a tournament advancement format. Yeah, okay. Tell me about Pyotin Aiduken. Who? Pyotin's a monster. He... He's like a rock slide, a force of nature. Blink and bam, you're dead. And if he's fighting with his team, you'd better watch out. Last time they fought, the entire front row got showered in blood. Mmm, freebies. Okay, actually, I should get going. Well, good luck. I'll be watching for you. Ah, you know what? It's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna walk back so that we can go to camp and then come back and speak to the people on the other side then. Because it sounds like something we should be taking seriously. Yeah, okay, fine, fine, I'll be right back. Now, normally I would cut this out, but you guys are gonna talk on this bridge, aren't you? The Swamp Witch has a great deal in common with my former master. The Swamp Witch? How original. The Swamp Witch has the same arrogance, the same air of cruelty. I would hate for it to have possession of my control rod, if it still worked, of course. Let me tell you what you can do with your control rod, Gollum. Is it telling me that if the rod did work, that it wouldn't want control over me? I wouldn't go so far as that. I could, for instance, command you to go and jump in a lake. A very deep lake. It fools no one. The Swamp Witch would control everything if it could. It would have us all dancing on its strings. Oh, you know me too well, Gollum. Your revealing gaze has laid me bare. <laughs> I will be watching the Swamp Witch. It must not be trusted. Oh, now you're beginning to sound just like Alistair. <laughs> oh, I want to hear Morgan and Alistair talk too. Shale and Morgan are kind of funny. And then you guys want to talk more here, don't you? The Hall of Heroes had quite a few points. Like trigger points as well, if I remember right. So I am led to understand that the sister is a follower of this maker. Am I the sister? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's like you're my big brother. Or sister. Or whatever. I am a creature of stone. I rather doubt that we would be related in any shape or form. Oh, I didn't mean literally. Don't you think that people can be related in spirit? I notice that humans tend to believe in a great number of things that are not true. Even when given evidence to the contrary. Believing in things when there is no proof is what faith is all about, Shale. Believing in things when there is no proof is what gullibility is all about. So I am gullible now. I uh, take it we are no longer sisters in spirit. <laughs> no, that conversation could have gone deeper than that. Oh, hey! It's like the conversation that we had with Liliana, and she's right, though. It's faith exactly because it's not a fact. If it's a fact, then it's just truth. I guess still gossiping and stuff here. Hey, I got the sword back. I've told you what I know. If you'll excuse me, I've had quite enough stress over this. Eh. Oh, uh, certainly. You got stuff, right? Uh... I don't think I need this one. No. You don't need that. I don't think we even need oh, this crappy ass bow, this crappy ass sword, this crappy ass axe. This is small. I don't know what Shell has right now. Wait. Oh. Shale has a flawed one, so the flawless one should be better. Not counting stuff like the elemental. Sure, use a flawless one then. 
Ooh, but you don't match anymore. The colors don't match. Not that I matched before, but it was less jarring. Anything new here? Did you hear? Andraste's ashes have been found here in Ferelden too. Ah, Mother Volin said that's just some hoax. Mother Volin is a half-blind old cow. Everyone knows Andraste came from Ferelden. It makes sense they'd bring her ashes back here. <laughs> Those ashes are so old they'd be dust by now. I don't believe any of it. News have spread. You know about the revolt in Oswin. Got put down by the regent, I heard. That's what he'd like you to think, I bet. Well, I wouldn't talk about it too loudly. Look, someone's listening. Wait, I just missed what you said. Where was the revolt? Oh. And we can switch our party on the screen as well, but no, for this one we gotta go back to the camp because you won't heal my injuries unless if we're at camp. Come on. Let's go. Camp. Y'all doing okay? I don't think we've done anything major since the last time we were here, so probably don't need to do too much. Anyway, I just needed to come back here. That's all. Is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Ask away. Of course. No. Okay, let's go then. Really? Liliana, indeed, Morgan, indeed. Shale? Yes. Sure. Give it a go. Well, Liliana... Liliana was bringing around mostly because I want her to do lockpicking. I don't have to have Liliana here. But she's here anyway, it's mine. Oh, where were we? We were... We can just go directly back into Orzammar. Wait, from Orzammar? Could we have left without going through the Frostback Mountains? Actually, I'm not sure. But hey, if we do this one, we get an extra line of dialogue. I uh, may have a cause to apologize to the sister. Apologize? For what? For suggesting that the sister was gullible for believing in things which were not real. Oh. Oh, that. I'd already forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. I suppose it would offer some comfort to believe that things occur according to some grand purpose. All those years I spent in Honleith unable to move, it would be comforting to think there was some reason for it. Do you know there wasn't? Perhaps the Maker did it to bring you here, to us. You once said that you had no purpose. Perhaps you are simply looking for it in the wrong place. Perhaps. I shall think on this. Oh, that's a very sweet conversation. I didn't think there would be continuations of previous ones, but clearly there are. That's nice. And it's making Shale have a bit of a second think too. That's always good. Coming into contact with people that think differently. I would still like to know how the Swamp Witch learns its form. <laughs> Eager, are you not? Does the Golem wish to become human after all? A human is a soft and weak form. I desire no such thing. Then why the interest in shape-changing? Unless you secretly wish to become something other than what you are. Is that why the Swamp Witch learned? To escape her form? In a way. It was lonely to grow up in the wilds. To join with the forest, to become one with its denizens. There was a freedom in that. I think it would be an excellent talent for disguises. Or perhaps to walk through doors without hitting one's head, hmm? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, tis not a good enough reason. Oh, Shale. Speaking of which, the... Huh. You know, everyone being dwarves here, surprisingly, we haven't hit our head on any roofs. Isn't that actually pretty surprising? All of their architecture should be customized to their own people, but yet... We haven't run into trouble with that at all. In fact, the ceilings are really high. Now, what about the people on this side? This guy's still here. Oh my god, the pile of bones! We have nothing to talk about, Warden. I haven't done a thing. Yeah, yeah. Do not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Did you have anything else? 
May the ancestors favor both our fights. Mm-hmm. Never understood why everyone thinks the Grey Wardens are so great. Prince Valen will be happy to hear I've flattened you into the dirt. <sighs> Forget your politics. I'll win this whole thing myself. When the sun shines in Orzammar... They do a lot of crap talking, don't they? You looking at something? Not this again. <laughs> uh, don't suppose you would have anything to say. Hanashan needs to be alone before her fight. Hanashan needs to be alone before her fight. Fair enough. Without a tongue? How does she even eat? Man, the whole thing... I can't say it doesn't take dedication, but it's also kind of insane from every single direction that you can think about this from. Okay, are we ready? We have... Oh, you know what? I didn't... Okay, we have mana potions. We have quite a few. Should be okay, since we're here anyway. Might as well get Liliana to use some... Venoms. Why not? Mm-hmm. Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is final. No new additions are accepted, and all withdrawals are marked as losses. We have to do it continuously? I'm not quite sure about this party we have, Liliana, Shale, Morrigan, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Quit stalling. I'm ready to taste blood. Go down to the ring, then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him, in Lord Haramoth's name, is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name Damn, of House Ajokan, <laughs> and our future King Balin. You honor me with this fight! First warrior to fall is vanquished! Fight! Okay, so we really are doing it alone? It shall be Fine done. with me? It shall be done. I really shouldn't be doing the two-handed one. We should be fine here. The winner is the Grey Warden! Spam all of my skills. That was an exciting start, Warden. Sowern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who's my next opponent? The twins. Next, you're up against Miyaja and Lukejohn. As twins, they've always been allowed to fight as a single person. That's bullcrap. But their mother was a smith, so watch out for Miyaja's hammer. And don't forget Lukejohn. Most fighters do, and end up with a knife in their spine. Are you ready to begin? So Luke Jun's gonna be a rogue that goes around me and turns invisible and stuff? That's so cheap! Why don't I- I can say that Morgan's my twin, we just look a little bit different. We're fraternal twins! Yeah, why can't she be in the ring with me? Just point me to the ring! Alright then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, Viaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you when you fall. Prepare for a slaughter. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Where's the pausing? I was waiting for the pausing. Hmm. It is begun. And then perfect striking itself is not an attack. Yeah, it's not. So I need you to Oh, let's do a war cry. Kinda wasted the pommel strike time, but that works. That's a lot of health. Shall be done. Oh, we'll be fine. 
It is the game. If we must fight, let us do it quickly. Resistant of almost rights. Luke John's gone. Oh, she's the same as me. Most excellent. The winner is the Grey Warden. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who's my next opponent? Well, this bout should be quick and dirty. You'll be fighting Hanashan, one of the legendary Silent Sisters. She's a ferocious fighter and dedicated enough to cut out her own tongue. Are you ready to begin? Just point me to the ring yet again. All right, then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Aramon's champion cleared the stone, but can she hold out against the Paragon's own favorites, the Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. <laughs> is self-mutilation supposed to frighten me? First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! For a moment, I thought her translator was going to be here too. <laughs> Enemies ahead. Ah! Aura of pain, huh? I'll give you an aura of pain. Very well. Blood frenzy. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Simple, simple. The winner is the Grey Warden. Are we gonna have any team ones? Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is he? This should be a good match. You'll battle Wojak Ivo, master of all weapons, prisoner of none. He makes it a point never to use the same technique twice. Are you ready to begin? Well, on my end, I always use the same techniques, but they all defeat you anyway. Just point me to the ring. All right, then. I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the <laughs> eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar. How many times do we have to see this? The memory of King Endrin. This round is paired combat. Oh. Just as Kiatshet fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none. Wojak Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden? Choose your second, for you face Wojak Ivo and Valans. Valans? Vaguely sounds like Wellens, huh? <laughs> um. I have no second. Wow, that's a. No, I'm not that crazy. Oh! I can choose Haramon's people. Mmm. For myself, probably Morrigan would be the best bet, I think. I choose the Sorceress Morrigan. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Like, I'm supporting Haramon, but a part of me still feels like, as a human from the surface, I don't really want to involve myself that deeply. So even though I'm supporting one of them, I'm like, ah, well, I'm just gonna maybe not commit to it. All right, buddies. Wanna try this? Yes. Send me. Oh, is it gonna be that easy? No critical, but still it's pretty damn good. It shall be done. The winner is the Grey Warden! Wojak Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Paramount picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who are they? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. 
Piot Naidukin leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? I think squad on squad might actually be the hardest, because you have so many people to manage and they might gang up on one person. But when it's one on one, fairly easy to focus, so this might be the hardest one. I am ready to win the title. May the ancestors choose wisely. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Balin, Piotan Idukan has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Idukin. Shut up and fight. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! Yeah, I honestly feel... <laughs> I feel like Balin and Haramont themselves should come and fight. Isn't that what we do around here? Yes. Okay, let's see. Shale. Automatic critical hit. Ooh, but this is gonna drain Shale's stamina, so we have to make sure this one really connects. Let's wait till the Cone of Cold kicks in. Liliana, can you deal- Okay, that guy- that guy's a- he's far away. Let's get this guy, he's an archer. And then you guys... Okay, here we go. Shale? Putin's right hand! <laughs> These guys don't even have their own names. Let's see. Where next? I can't hear that. Didn't pull off any shattering, but it's still begun. freezing everybody all the same. That guy's almost dead. Very well. Can you guys get the other guy? Good. As you say. It shall be done. You guys alright? That guy has like one sliver of health. I'm counting on you. Liliana! You getting that guy? Morgan. Another Cone of Cold? We could, on one guy. I'll heal myself, just in case. No. Oh, Shale, my goodness! What was that? That was... was it Quake? Slam? Slam. But the moving actually makes it a bit worse, though, because I gotta go play catch-up and ready. walk again. Too easy! Away with you! How are you guys doing over there? Is it just Liliana doing that? The one guy? Come on. We could definitely... Let's go in with Morrigan. Ooh, that guy's actually doing quite a number on Wallen's here. Maybe time to force field if things get bad. Everything on cooldown? I can do a group heal as well. This guy's a heavy hitter. You cannot win. He's gone. Alright. Liliana! Oh, you switched over to this guy, didn't you? It's okay. There you go. The winner is the Grey Warden! Thank you, thank you! Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of My Army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving who has shown that the Ancestors favor Lord Heramont. 
Are we done then? Because I could use a drink. Spoken like a true warrior! Ooh, fantastic! Well, that's that. They don't let lower caste dwarves join the proving, but a bunch of ragtag randoms here are allowed to. That's so sad, that's basically saying that lower caste dwarves really are nothing, they're trash. They're below even people, like other non-dwarves outside. Do not disturb me, I must meditate before my fight. Fight's over, buddy! Fight's over! Hey, you were talking crap earlier. When my arm heals, you watch out, Duster. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> not bad for a surfacer. I won your entire championship. Not bad is all I get. Ancestors watch over your path. Thank you! Ancestors watch over your path. Gracious loser for once. Okay, well, we did what we came to do. I think we're pretty good, aren't we? Congratulations and well fought. My cousin was wise to choose you. That was an excellent showing. We were honored by your participation, Warden. No, the honor was mine. Something something. Uh... Oh, okay. People find out fast. I can't believe it! The ancestors came out of the sodding ground to kiss your feet, Duster! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, because it's all about... It's not because I'm naturally strong, it's because the ancestors came to bless me. And if, even if I was strong, if the ancestors didn't bless me, then I would still lose. There were still a bunch of losers, sore losers over here, right? Gotta rub it in their faces. That was a good fight. Miyaja learned a lot from you. So did Luke, John. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let me know when you're recruiting for that army. I'm recruiting now. Come, come join me, man. No hard feelings. It was just a, a fair and square fight. Surprisingly, no one tried to pull a quick one on me in any way. It was actually a fair fight. Your victory means nothing. The assembly knows better than to base its vote on one proving. Do you want to go again? Yeah, it's not like automatically winning the proving means that the result of the proving is what we want. It still has to go through a vote. And I'm sure Balin probably has more tricks up his sleeve. So you've proven to be every bit the snake I feared. You agree to aid my prince, then turn on him in the most public forum in Orzammar. And after I trusted your promise that you wouldn't, well, you need not fear that happening again. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Get out of there before you do. Now what? Now I go celebrate at Tapster's Tavern, of course. I don't ever think I actually agreed that I wouldn't backstab him. I imagine you have already composed a suitable ballad to commemorate the events at Redcliffe, Leliana. Why would I do such a thing? You have taken up your instruments once again, have you not? So to speak, a bard takes events of great import and puts them to tail. What happened at Redcliffe was horrible. So many people died, and they were violated by unimaginable evil forces. That was not so difficult, was it? You may wish to add music, however. Wow. You make it sound as if you enjoyed what happened there. I can barely stomach to think of it. But we were successful in the end. Victory without cost has little worth. I just think of what that poor little boy went through. No, I don't want to glorify what happened there. Then who will learn from these events? I would think on it some more, were I you. Might actually be inclined to agree with Morgan here. Every single tale, every single ballad, I'm sure there was suffering behind it. But maybe because this one, we were there personally, that Liliana has a broader perspective on it. Is that the Chandri? Oh, hey! Hey! Hey, Liliana, we got a Chandri here! Ooh, they have worshippers already. Maker preserve you. Maker, turn his gaze on you. Welcome to what will soon be Orzammar's first Chantry. The Chant of Light will reach all corners of the world. We will never forget who made this possible. 
<laughs> Why is there Where's the neutral option? I serve only Andraste. May her memory live forever. Well, cool. I hope you get some more diversity in thought around here then. All right. Right, so the other one just disappeared. Entirely. That's fine. That is fine. It I'm here begun. to celebrate! Hey, Doolin! And then of course I don't have to do anything for you? I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of the candidates for king? I doubt either candidate has been outside the Diamond Quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Yeah, we heard this before, but... Mm. This guy, we know he actually is a proponent of stuff like equality. But even he doesn't have a clear recommendation on which one would be better fitting with his own views. Do you know anything about this Carta? The Assembly passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course they turn to crime. What else can they do? You get it! You get it! Yes! I should get going. As you wish. There are some people who think differently around here. It's just difficult for them to really get anything done. Because the system's really... They're really set in stone. No pun intended. Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. I must thank you for bringing both Beisel and Widon back into the fight. His lordship was touched to see his old friends stand for him. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Harrimont will see you now. Excellent. Lead the way. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. Where are we? We're back in the house. His Lordship appreciates your support. These are the personal apartments of High General Lord Harrowmont. No visitors are allowed at this time. Update your information, because I'm going in. Harrowmont. Hello. I appreciate what you have done, Warden. And I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrowmont, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. <laughs> Why would Endrin prefer you over his own son? You may not know the story, but Balin is actually the youngest of three. Endrin's eldest, Trian, was murdered in the Deep Roads not a year ago. His middle son was found standing over the body and was exiled. But I've always found it suspicious that Balin knew just where to look. Endrin loved his sons too much to voice such suspicions. But he knew Balin's only interest in ruling was to further his own power. It wouldn't surprise me at all that Balin would have done that and framed the middle child. Everything just seems, it just seems so convenient. Three kids, two of them are gone, and the youngest one is the one that's left. Balin's men say you planted those suspicions. Balin resents me because I did not believe his setup. I wanted a full investigation, a trial, not this knee-jerk reaction. It speaks poorly of Balin that Endrin himself was the first to think that he should not be trusted. You believe you'd be a better king than Balin? I have never sought the throne. My role was to serve Endrin first as his advisor, then as an elected desher in the assembly. A Harrowmont has never been king, and I always assumed Trian would rule after his father. But both Endrin and my colleagues have asked me to step up, and I will not back down when Orzammar needs me. The assembly has more power than the king? The Assembly represents the voices of the wisest, most noble families. While we need a single king to preside over important functions and lead us in battle, 
The Assembly better represents all in Orzammar. All I want is your support against the Blight. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king. And right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the criminal Carter she runs? Yes. The Gang of Castlas, yes. The Assembly receives pleas every day from the common folk, begging that something be done about her. So far, no one has managed. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. <laughs> it's very much like, you know, oh, everything in this world has to depend on the player character, but geez, man, I already helped you for one thing, now you want me to do another thing? That probably your own men, if your own personal men did it, it would give you more legitimacy. I'll deal with Jarvia. Be ready to help against the Blight. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Jarvia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. She's gotta be in that one house that we couldn't really do anything about. I must confess I didn't expect you back so <laughs> soon. I've heard nothing of Dust Town. Did you find Jarvia? Tell me more about this Jarvia. Her lair is in Dust Town, the bottommost level of the city where castless and criminals hide. From my understanding, she started as an underling to a smuggler named Barak, who died just before the king. Everything's been so chaotic since then that she nearly doubled her operations in months. Hmm. That reflects poorly on your system. Like, your your system doesn't- it's not working. Have you talked to the Assembly about my troops? They are far more likely to listen if we have something positive to present. Something like the end of Javier and her Carter. Okay, let me get back to that. I've already hinted to the Assembly that I might have a big announcement soon. Wow, no pressure at all. I can't have your pretty chest? Well, I'll be back. I'll be back. His lordship appreciates your support. I imagine I probably won't be very welcome in the palace now then. 